Hey y'all, I'm Jamie Doris and you're watching Miss Congeniality TV. Guess what we're doing today? We are doing something that I have wanted to do for the last 24 years. Kid you not, when I was in high school, that was the day I woke up and realized I was no longer a blonde, I was a brunette. And ever since that day, I have wanted to have platinum blonde hair. I've been obsessed with hair color. And ever since that day, I have had stylists tell me, oh, you should just do highlights. Oh, you should just have your natural color. Everyone has basically told me not to go platinum. But I'm doing it today and it is a bucket list item for me. I do not know if it's gonna look good. It may look awful, but it may look amazing. It may be the color I have the rest of my life, but regardless, it's something I've always wanted to do. And hopefully this is inspiring you to do the same for yourself. Maybe you've always wanted to be platinum blonde or maybe there's something else you've always wanted to do and never had the courage to do it. Y'all, my, my heart is beating like, like <laughs> anyways, um, I'm here at the Willow Salon in Ocean Springs, Mississippi and blonde and extension expert Tori Miguez is gonna be doing the job today. Where is she? Tori, come on in. Tori, you ready? I think I am. Do you think it's gonna look good? It's gonna look perfect. You sure? Of course. Okay. You can pull up anything. Okay. All right. Let's, let's do, do it. this. <laughs> so, Tori, the biggest question is here: Why in the world has nobody ever been willing to help me get platinum blonde hair? So, either one, they were lazy, <laughs> or two, they did not want you to have this much power. Power? What does power have to do with hair color, though? Like. Blondes are powerful. Okay. Well, I've been blonde. Platinum blondes are powerful. Okay. So I'm going to have so much power when this is over with. Yes. So much more than I already have. You're going to ooze even more confidence oh than you already do. This is awesome. This is awesome. So what are you doing differently right now that you don't normally do other than, I mean, obviously you're not doing highlighting with, you know, with this stuff. What are you doing differently? When I do fresh platinum, I personally like to go and do the roots, um, especially if there's pre-lightened ends already. Um, I like to do the roots, rinse it out, and then go over the ends while it's wet. I kind of, it gives a little barrier. And then on top of that, sometimes it gets a little messy when you're trying to just do the ends and then come back and do the roots. So I'd rather just do it this way. Okay, so then I'll, I'll have do, like two processes today. Yes. One to kind of get the dark lighter mm -hmm. and then all over. To make the previous lighten even. Why do women not go platinum? platinum? Like, Sometimes what's the deal? I feel like it's a confidence thing. It's something you really, when you're this blonde, you have to own it. Some people don't like being this blonde and they feel like they have to do their hair and makeup every day. It's also a lot of maintenance. Some people are in here as little as two to three weeks. To get the roots touched up. But yeah. I have some clients that can go 10 weeks because their hair doesn't ever grow. So then after today, it'll just be kind of touching up the roots. And your appointments will actually be a lot shorter okay. because it takes to foil your hair sometimes like an hour and a half to two hours just to put the foils in. Yeah. It takes 10, 15 minutes to apply a platinum root retouch. Really? Okay. So after today, then shorter. Today, how long is this going to be? Could be up to five hours. You know, you're never too old to do the things that you always wanted to do. Like, you're never too old for that. And I keep telling myself, what if you don't like it? What if you don't like it? And then the answer that comes back is, do it anyway. Because at least you could say, I didn't like it, but I tried it. <laughs> it's better than not trying it. I have a feeling I'm really going to like it. Me too. So once I feel like your roots are to the max, we'll rinse you off and do the rest of your hair. What needs to process more. And you're doing like, I mean, you, I could tell this is an art for you. Like you are really going through each and every section and checking the hair and, and reapplying and checking again and reapplying. Is this what you do for everybody or just me? Everybody. Okay, good. You get special treatment, but when it comes to the health of people's hair. This is keeping, making sure my hair doesn't get fried? Mm -hmm. Why? So if I would have put it all at once, your dark roots, you had light ends. So one has a different developer than the other. I see. Scrape the last. <laughs> the last little bit. How many bowls have you gone through already? Like six. Oh my God. And we're not done. And we're not done. I got coffee though. Good what, coffee too. What was it called? Coffee what? Fusion. Coffee Fusion, thank you. Mm. 
<clears throat> so what's next? You're rinsing me out, and then what are you doing? I'm going to put a tr little treatment on it real quick, and then we're going to do lightener over the whole thing again. Okay. You ready for the Slim Shady look? Uh-oh. Okay. Part two. Slim Shady. <gasps> oh, my God. Well, the real Slim Shady, please stand up. That, that, that's not it. Nope. No, 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 that's not it. Hello. Businesswoman things. So you can see how her roots from the heat of her scalp are a little bit lighter. So all we're gonna do now is kind of even everything out. All right, so we sent that picture to my husband of my Slim Shady look, and you know what he said? Sexy strawberry. He's so supportive, it's ridiculous. It's like icing. All right, now the finishing touch. She's putting on the last little bit of bleach. Oh. Bumping those roots up a little bit. Yes. This has been quite a process. We packed our patients, we packed our coffee, our good stories. Luckily, we like each other. So is it normal for your scalp to feel real sensitive? Yes. Because my scalp is going, OMG. <laughs> What are you doing to me? So how much does it cost to go like platinum on my lean tear? So I would charge hourly mm -hmm. um, and I typically charge $100 an hour. So we've been here since, so we've been here three and a half hours. So, so, so far we're at three, mm -hmm. 350, but you know, we're not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got blue hair. I look pretty nice with blue hair. <laughs> I'm digging it. It's the pre Elsa. Yeah, pre Elsa, yeah. I think we're ready. Okay, let's do it. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're no longer Slim Shady. We are the inside of a banana peel, right? Yes. All right, Tori, what are you doing now? So now we're going to tone you, which is like the magic. Okay. That's where we get the actual, like, mm -hmm. the, the more cool shade. Yeah, because you can't lift to a tone. That's right. Okay. So this is like the lightest my hair can go on bleach kind of mm -hmm. thing. And still be on my head. Yes. Okay. All right. I'm not hating it. I mean, I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Okay. You're going to really feel it when this toner's on. Okay. Oh, you mean on my scalp I'm going to feel it? Yeah. <laughs> So this is toner, and tell me about this toner. So the toner that I'm using, it's one of my favorites for on the scalp applications. I'm gonna cry. This is like, I know Everything the toner's still in, in, but it's, it's like the perfect shade. And it just makes me happy, because since the day I met you, all you've ever talked about is, I wanna be platinum. It's like my alter ego. Mm-hmm. We're gonna have to come up with a name for you. Okay. Just not Elsa, and definitely not Slim Shady. <laughs> 24 years. I keep wanting to look. Am I not allowed to look right now? No, not yet. Okay, all right. Do you think we're good, or do we need to do anything more? Do you know yet? I don't know. Okay. We're gonna have to draw a section. All right, I'm like so nervous. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Do you have the milkshake? No, Allison has the oh, milkshake. Oh, it's either utter perfection or it's a total mistake. One or the other. It's I'm so dramatic. <laughs> okay, Victoria, it is 537. I've been here for five hours and 37 minutes. What have you done with me? You are very, very, very blonde. Joey! Joey! Ah! <gasps> oh my god. That's what I was meant to be. This is exactly my where entire you're life. Going. 24 years! Wow. 
powerful. I love it. It's going to take some getting used to, though, because it's very different. Very like, different. It's very different. I don't know if I can wear red lipstick anymore. Yes, you can. You think? You can wear anything. You think? Okay. Well, y'all, I don't know what to say. It's been a long day. This is Victoria Miguez. We're over at Willow Salon. She just turned me from Barbie bombshell to the Snow Queen. And I could not be happier. This is awesome. This is awesome. <laughs> so excited. This is the best day ever. Hey, y'all. Now that it's been a few weeks since I went platinum, I decided I would record a little bit more on a video to uh, tell you how it's been going. So first things first, as you know, I mentioned earlier in, in this video, I wanted to go platinum. I mean, it's been going on for years and years. I've always wanted to be platinum. And most stylists told me, no, I don't want to do it because it's going to be a lot of upkeep, all that kind of stuff. But now, now that it's been four weeks, I can tell you that's been the least of my concern. <laughs> There's other things that I've learned on this process that I really feel like um, I should warn you about if you too secretly would like to go platinum. First things first, your scalp. Nobody warned me that putting the bleach on my scalp may really affect my scalp. Now, I learned that your cycle affects a lot of how your scalp is going to receive that bleach. I happened to be uh, premenstrual when I got this done. And so my scalp was very sensitive and I ended up not being able to take the toner she was putting on me. And we had to switch to a different toner that was a lot, um, I guess, less harsh and it didn't bother me at all. I did have a little bit of scabbing and things like that off after the first day. So that was something I was not aware was going to happen. Uh, I've asked other ladies that have had platinum hair uh, how they experienced having scalp problems. Some people told me, oh yeah, it just goes with the territory. Other people told me they never had issues. And so I guess it's really just up to you and your skin. But just keep that in mind. Your scalp could have a problem with uh, the bleach and it may be something you have to deal with. The next thing I would say is I was not warned how the dramatic difference was going to affect how I saw myself in the mirror. Kid you not. I'm surprised nobody warned me of this. I dodged the mirror for like two weeks because I was a little shocked at what I saw in the mirror. I wasn't sure who I was anymore. I kind of regretted getting it done. Um, I just wasn't quite sure what was going on. And it took two weeks for me to finally kind of warm up to what I was doing. And by now it's been four weeks and I love the color. I love it. But I wish somebody would have told me that just to give myself some grace that I might not like it at first, but just give it time. So that's what I'm telling you. If you get it done, give yourself time to get used to the color before you judge it right? I would also recommend not having some major event or something you have to go to within those first few weeks so that you don't have so much pressure on yourself. That's the next thing I would definitely recommend. Women, I've noticed, and this is really bizarre, but here's a word of warning. Other women are treating me differently, especially if they don't know me personally. So people who know me, they either like it or don't like it, but they know me. People who don't know me and are meeting me for the first time, I'm noticing that strangers, especially women, are treating me differently. They're giving me different like eyes. Like for example, I went out on New Year's Eve with my husband and I was wearing this cute little black dress and I walked in, I had makeup on, I had my hair done and I had women giving me the stink eye. The stink eye. As though my husband, had grabbed a prostitute or something. I don't know. I've never experienced the way some people have looked at me. And then I've had other people who maybe have just met me and hadn't known me before. And they were just like, oh, I thought you were some celebrity when you walked in. So being platinum, Victoria was not kidding. It is a powerful shade. It is the shade that you either own it or you don't. And even if you do own it, some other people may have their opinion of what they think about you because of it. So word of warning, you may be viewed as a bimbo whether you like it or not. Oh, oh, 
And there's another tip for you. I didn't realize this either. When you go platinum, like, like this, your wardrobe has to kind of match it, if that makes any sense. I had somebody tell me once, when you have platinum hair, your hair is basically an accessory uh, that you're wearing. So you don't want to overdo it on the accessories if you have such bright hair. Uh, when it comes to my makeup, I've noticed that I've been going a little more neutral. And if I do a red lip, I use it sparingly. And so I'm finding myself more drawn to like peaches and pinks and things that are a little softer because when you have such bright hair, softer shades work really, really well. I'm noticing I'm wearing a lot more black. I normally don't wear a lot of black, but I'm noticing I'm wearing more black because it just makes my hair pop and it doesn't make me look washed out. So if you're planning on going platinum, keep that in mind that you may have to spend some time with your hair, makeup, and wardrobe, just kind of readjusting yourself to this new change because it's bigger than just getting a few new highlights or a few lowlights or whatnot. It's like a whole nother party. Uh, let me just go ahead and say, I love my hair. Victoria Miguez, my girl over there at the Willow Salon, she did a fabulous job. I'm so thrilled. I'm gonna be going in next week to get my first touch up and I'm excited about that because all she has to do is hit these roots and we're done. That's so much quicker than going through and doing all of the highlights all the way through my hair, which can take four to five hours, if not more. So this will be really quick coming up next week and I'm really happy to see what that result's gonna be like. Other than that, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I would highly recommend it if you are willing to do the work and you're willing to try something new and look yourself in the mirror and not feel like such a total bimbo. Highly recommend it. Until next time, I am Miss Congeniality.